Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Tonight, Appa is going to make a clay pot fish head curry. Okay. Uh, first of all, I have some very beautiful uh, fish head here, as you can see. Look how beautiful it is. Fish head chunks actually from uh, taken out from the three kg barramundi fish that I bought from my favorite online um, set, seafood seller. So if you want to know where I how to buy, I actually bought the whole fish. Yeah, these are the fish head. I actually requested them to cut it into big chunks for me. Yeah, because it's almost impossible for us to cut at home. So if you want to know how um, where does Appa bought uh, buy this uh, seafood? You can uh, you can check out the the link in the video description. Okay, so uh, we have the fish head chunks, and um, I have here, and you can put in any veggie that you like. I I like to put in some uh, long bean, cabbage, tomato, and this is my wife's favorite, um, brinjal. Yeah. Brinja, after you cut it, you actually have to soak it under water and you can add some uh, um, vinegar, yeah, white vinegar. It will prevent it to uh, go uh, yellowish. Actually, I did not add white vinegar today, so it's actually started to go a little bit yellowish. Oxidize, it simply means it's go oxidized. It's okay. Lah. And then you will need about some uh, chopped tomato here, minced tomato. And uh, let's look at here. We have about... One tablespoon of chopped garlic, ginger, shallot, and also coriander roots and some curry leaves. And this is what makes up curry. I always mix my own curry. It's actually very, very simple. Generally, you only needed three ingredients. This you got you, you are seeing four right here, but you can start with three. The most basic three things that make up curry is um, one one ratio one ratio of turmeric powder so this is about one tablespoon another one tablespoon of turmeric powder and two tablespoons of red chili powder uh, usually i use the babas brand yeah um, you will get you can find also you can find the link inside the video description now babas red chili powder is not spicy at all it, it gives you the nice um, uh, reddish color if you want spicy go for those pakistanis um, uh, Chili, red chili powder, those are very, very spicy. And then we, I, uh, let me see. Oh, sorry. Mm, I think I made a mistake here. Let me start again on this part. This is one tablespoon of uh, turmeric powder, right? This is one tablespoon of coriander powder, sorry. Oh, yeah. So this is coriander powder and two tablespoons of red chili powder. This is actually the mixed um, fish curry powder from Babas. So one, one, two. These are these three is the basic. This is extra. Okay. So sorry about it. Um, I say wrong things just now, as usual. Sure. <laughs> uh, but don't worry. I will put all the detailed de ingredient inside the video description. So even though I say wrong thing, but inside the video description, video description, you can see all the list. And you will need some coconut milk, and also this is um, the evaporated milk. And of course, you need some hot water or chicken stock okay we're going to use a lot of oil here every time when you use uh, when you want to cook curry here yeah? at least about five six even seven tablespoon and you can actually add more oil as you go if you find uh, it gets more uh, too dry because curry powder will soak up all your oil so we're going to start with sauteing the fresh ingredient here the garlic ginger shallot and also uh, fresh coriander roots saute this for a minute or two before we continue we will come back shortly so this is after about two minutes sauteing under medium high heat now we can actually put in the minced tomato, the curry leaves,
We are actually trying to make the curry paste right now. All right. Now you want to tune down the fire to low, low heat because we are going to add in the powders. If, you, if it's too hot here, immediately your powders going in, it will actually get burnt. So using low heat. Now the first thing you see is it has soaked out all my oil. <laughs> Suddenly everything dries out. So we definitely need to add more oil eh, to this. So now you can slowly increase it to medium low or close to medium fire. It's too dry, right? Easy. Not an issue. Give it more oil. And now we want to saute it. Keep on stirring. If not, it can also get burned below. Yeah. So we will um, saute this curry paste for at least about 5 minutes, I would say, easily, until it is super, super fragrant. If you like, you can actually put in, season it with a little bit of salt right now, no problem. Keep on stirring for the next 5 minutes at least, using a medium low heat, yeah? Okay, this is after about, I'll say about 5 minutes sauteing under medium or medium low heat. So it's super super fragrant now. Now you can actually add in the next thing. Chicken powder. Oh, sorry, chicken stock. I actually make, uh, use my chicken powder, my own homemade chicken powder to make the chicken stock. So that is one secret on how you can make your curry nicer yeah more flavor more full body and more flavor now you can give it medium high heat because we want to make bring this to a boil many people have been asking Appa about my homemade chicken powder so it looks something like this. It's not yet available for sale. Hopefully, I can make it uh, available for you all within this year. Okay, and we want to uh, make this live, uh, make it let it boil. Bring this, let it boil for about five minutes before we continue. Yeah, to really cook the flavor up from the curry paste. All right, it has been boiling for the past couple of minutes. Now we are going to, uh, before we add in the fish and the veggie, there's one thing we need to do, which is to season it. Now why is it you want to season right now and not towards the end? Because um, you want later your fish and also your veggie to be able to soak out the nice curry flavor together with the saltiness of it, right? So you want to season this curry right now, some salt to start with and some sugar to balance it up I like adding a little bit of light soy sauce personal favorite you can also put a bit of fish sauce my favorite fish sauce from Vietnam We still can do some final seasoning right before serving. Don't forget, we haven't added in the coconut milk yet. Yeah. Oh, look at the beautiful curry flavor. Beautiful curry color. Oh, today Appa kept on biting my own tongue. <laughs> right, now I'm going to put in the fish. The fish head, yeah, fish head chunks. It will take about maybe about, I would say, less than five minutes. So I'm putting in the brinjal as well. 
because the brinjal or eggplant will need at least about four or five minutes to be cooked as well. My wife's favorite, so I will put more. Always remember this. Don't let other people tell you that, hey, this dish you're supposed to put this, that dish you're supposed to put that. No, you are not cooking for him or her. You are cooking for your family. So put in whatever you like or whatever your family likes to eat. That is more important. Don't listen to people, okay? And you don't have to listen to Appa as well. I don't mind putting in the tomato right now. Now there's one thing which is to me is personally optional. Uh, up, some most people will put, but sometimes I won't put. That is the tamarind, asam. Okay, so totally optional. I will decide whether I want to put or not <laughs> shortly after this. Okay, so after putting all this, um, I will let this cool for about three minutes. Then con I'll continue with the rest of the veggie. Okay, I just decided I'm going to add in the asam today. I mean, I like, or I usually use asam puree. Just scoop it out and use it straight away. About one to two tablespoons. Okay, this will give it some very nice tangy uh, flavor. Okay, this is after the first five minutes. Uh, I think the fish is almost is fully cooked, but the eggplant still needs some time. I can still feel it is still a little bit tough. So what I will do here is I'm going to take out the fish head and put it onto my serving plate, the uh, clay pot at the side. Then I'm going to continue cooking the veggie. Okay. Raise the heat a little bit. Put in the green veggie and also uh, cabbage, uh, the long bean and cabbage. Now the moment when you put in the long bean and cabbage, it will start releasing some water, yeah? So that will further dilute your curry. That's why right before serving, we will still need to uh, do some uh, using uh, salt and sugar to do a, a bit of uh, adjust to taste. Okay, I'm going to let this cooking under medium heat for another 2-3 minutes, then it should be ready by then, yeah? Okay, this after another 4 minutes. Now we can tune down the heat a little bit and I'm going to add in coconut milk. You decide how much coconut milk you want to add. This is somewhere around 100 ml of coconut cream. So it's actually quite thick. And I'm going to add in evap evaporator milk as well. So about a similar amount. Some will say right after you add your coconut milk, you're not supposed to cook. If not, the oil will start separating. Well, I won't worry so much, lah, seriously. Wow. I smell coconut and so I smell mil uh, milky, yeah? Really nice. Immediately, it thicken up the curry broth as well. So we can do some final seasoning right now. Let me have a taste. Mmm, nice sourish flavor. Mmm, I could use a little bit of uh, salt. 
bit more fish sauce. Done. And I'm going to transfer this over to my clay pot at the side. Alright, here's my serving plate, uh, serving clay pot. Uh, you can actually still heat it out if you want. You can, you can heat up the clay pot to, together with the broth and the fish and also the veggie. So, here's my very simple clay pot fish head here. Actually, uh, few things that you can actually, this is how you can make it more flavorful. One of it is definitely use chicken stock. Yeah? Use a chicken stock to actually cook the fish head. Then the fish head, you will really want to drench your white rice with all of it. Okay, so uh, I hope you like my video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Abba Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Um, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Abba YouTube channel and TikTok. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.